Regina Louise is a best-selling author who shares her incredible coming-of-age story about being in over 30 different foster homes. And now her remarkable story is a lifetime movie, I Am Somebody's Child. And Regina joins me right now. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, Jeff. Greetings from Las Vegas. How are you today? Yes, I'm great. Well, I'm just thrilled to death to speak to you today. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's my honor. Well, Regina, your story is so incredible. Your coming of age, well, Regina, your coming of age story is so remarkable. Over 30 different foster homes, uh, and you wrote your experiences in this in a best-selling book. Uh, but tell me about that journey with Hollywood, uh, from book to screen. Uh, when did Hollywood come calling? Oh, I called Hollywood. <laughs> so I wanted to find out how to get a story like mine you know from my computer you know to become a movie i wrote it with the intention of it to become a movie and i followed a person who was just like me coach kenny carter and i saw that on his website when he landed on the la times you know that's when hollywood came calling so i knew that i would have to find a way to get my my story on the cover of the la times and i craftily imaginatively created that opportunity by pretending that I was a London, a London journalist, called up the LA Times, asked that they'd be willing to cover the story. It just so happened that the person I spoke to had a copy of my book on their desk. That was a gift to them. The reporter called me. My story ended up on the cover of the LA Times. I then emailed my story to over three thousand producers and casting agents and 42 people called me I had an interview without an agent or a manager and made a deal with Yvonne Chotson. Regina that that is just the stuff of Hollywood legend that's an incredible story <laughs> that's the stuff of imagination Jeff okay <laughs> you know now, as an author, Regina, what was your role in the movie? Were you the kind of author that's on the set every day, or uh, how involved were you with the production? A lot. Probably more than anybody wanted anything to do with. I worked, the screenwriter happened to be my friend, Camille Thomason. I met her at Squaw Valley Community of Writers in Northern California. And when I knew that this was going to be greenlit, I called her. Girl, they're going to be looking for a screenwriter. She called you know, my main producer, Howard, that was made. Then she interviewed me. She spent a week in my hometown, interviewed myself and my mom. And then the, the story was written. And this movie was filmed in 18 days, OK, if you can imagine that. And we were in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I was on set for pretty much every day. And it was great. I got to support the young girl, Angela Fairley, who plays me, and the director would ask me things that, you know, only I would know, and it was amazing. It's a dream come true. More than a dream. Like, I didn't even realize that was part of my dream. <laughs> Foster care is getting a lot of attention from Hollywood lately uh, with Mark Wahlberg's uh, big Christmas hit with the media family and also in Shazam, Billy Batson lives with a foster family. Uh, but for I Am Somebody's Child, it really shines a spotlight on foster care. Well, what I love about this story is so many stories that are narrated about foster care. It, it can be about the upshot, you know, because unfortunately a lot of the stories that aren't so appealing uh, uh, land in the media. What I love about this it's about an African-American girl. It's about an African-American girl who basically closes the gap on her own disadvantage. I mean, it's real. And I, you asked me, you know, what would I want people to take away from this? This movie, I Am Somebody's Child, is derived from the material in Someone Has Led This Child to Believe, which is my memoir. Challenge your beliefs. Okay? Challenge the things that people lead you to believe and watch what you allow someone to, to encourage you to believe. Had I listened to the naysayers, I probably wouldn't be sitting here having this interview. I probably wouldn't have written. I probably would not have stayed true to the things that were coming from my own essence. So at the end of the day, I would say just pay attention to the stories you're willing to allow yourself to believe. And 
if they don't serve your highest self, question that. Regina, congratulations on all your success and the Lifetime movie, I Am Somebody's Child. But when you have a chance, come out and visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. I can't wait. You better invite me. I'm there. <laughs> Thank you again, Regina. Thank you, Jeff. I Am Somebody's Child is on the Lifetime Network. And for more reviews and interviews, you can surf it over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.